Good morning, doctor. You mentioned about knee replacement and you use an implant. Are there different kinds of implant that you use or are there are different brands? And does it really affect the outcomes in such patients? Yeah, so there are patients who ask me what brand I'm going to use and sometimes they come with a particular brand in their mind. What the patients have to remember is that they should essentially leave the choice of the implant to the doctor if they trust the doctor as the, that particular doctor is familiar with a certain number of implants. For example, I use two or three brands uh, which have shown excellent results over 20 years and I'm very familiar with these implants and I know that I can give a good outcome using these implants. So the patient should really not bother too much uh, unless, unless they don't know um, the doctor very well and uh, would like to discuss in detail. Um, so I would say that although the companies are now coming directly to the patient uh, or via the doctor, um, the patient should not essentially get too concerned about what brand he's going to have put in into his body. So what I see here is one is a silver looking knee implant and one is a gold looking. So is, it, uh, is there a difference or uh, which one do you use more commonly? Yeah, so basically you can see here uh, that there are different uh, colors of the two implants. Uh, but essentially the design is the same. Um, the one on the left, which is the coated implant or the gold looking implant, is essentially a, uh, this implant with a coating on it. The coating is titanium niobium nitride. It, it makes it look like gold and that's why it is um, commonly known as the gold knee. It is uh, more expensive than the other uh, implant and essentially is used abroad for people who are allergic to uh, okay. metal. So this uh, coating essentially removes uh, the metal surface which is in contact with tissue and so um, it is used uh, less commonly abroad but more commonly in India because somehow um, patients are being sold this implant as something that gives superior results or long-term results. This is a total fallacy and people should not get drawn just by an implant that looks good or looks better than the other one. So uh, I think in conclusion I would say that the best results are seen uh, in patients where the surgeon is very familiar with the implant, is a good surgeon who gets the knee properly balanced and uh, the functionality of that particular knee will be far better than using the same implant um, and not having a proper surgery done by it. So it's like giving a Ferrari to a, a young kid than to a young trained uh, driver. So the end result is much better um, in patients whose surgeons are good, who know what they are doing, um, who can balance the knee properly and ultimately give a fantastic result to the patient.